Hello there. So in this video, we're going to look how to create AI generated um, animations with uh, two different services. So we're still using ChatGPT and we in some cases may be using Midjourney, but another ones we're going to use a different type of the software. One, it will be DID. And right here is an example of what we're going to do. Where circuit boards entwine. A Santa dwells of cyberpunk design. His fur trim coat with LED array. And that one will base it from these images where we created an image based on my photo. So we're just getting all of the stamps we're going to do. And second part, we're going to use it art flow to Once create a little time, bit different animations. But you can see right shop. here with the image. So the ball will be different styles, but in same ways, the ball will use it AI animations to apply to create some kind of story or tell poem or other thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on this. First step, we need to create the poem and description. And for this, I'm going to use chat GPT. It's free to use the application. However, I'm using model GPT-4 that is a uh, premium access. However, it should be no different in what we're doing. You can see right here, I put a right poem about cyberpunk Santa Claus. And something when create, I like to create something unusual, different. So in the next one, I says write in, and it's wrote quite a bit actually poem for me. For, But also keep in mind, chat GPT have the limitations, how many characters can put out but it still have it inside so when you come and you can see it's a stop in the middle just type continue or whatever <laughs> resume whatever you want and it's actually will continue to write all the way this poem after the poem is completed i says write visual description of the santa claus from the poem and this is actually very nice because when you create specific content with a chat gpt it's have this environment for the specific chat about all your interactions so you can refer to something and for me instead make descriptions of the character i wanted i want this description based from the poem so it's easy just says hey use this whatever you already created and give me description of the character from this so at this point we have the content for our poem and we have it also description for our character. Our next steps is create the visual for the character. And for this, I'm going to use it mid journey. You can use it also blue willow that is free. You can use it um, Leonardo AI, many different uh, services that are available. You can also generate image for free. What is important for us, it is that we have a portrait so it's will easy animate and when i say the by the portrait let me show example this one not necessarily will work very well with what i'm going to animate because it will animate facial features but won't animate all body so it will be static it does not look very pleasant i'll show you examples a little bit later some portraits may work but you see it's already side kind of placing so what we want to do it's have a portrait that is close up and look directly. One of the best way to do this is when you kind of specify close up portrait or other things, like for example, we can use with girl, except right here we'll have it one small problems and it's from experience. I see where is the head cut off. What we wanted, we want perfect almost out of the head. One thing what I found out work very, very good. It is if you just take a photo, like for example, this handsome guy, I took the photo, uploaded it with a mid journey. When you do this, you just right click, says copy image address. And after you can go paste and put it in. You can don't necessarily need to use the description. You can, but also you can just go ahead and type your own. Our goal for this is using the facial. Even right here, not everything will work. Like for example, see right on top, it's cut off. What I find better, it's about this size we want it with the clear edges so this is what we want for our um uh, uh, generations of course you can retouch in photoshop if you need it but general this one is kind of will work well okay so let's go ahead and look on some other profiles 
right here, for example, you can see it's a portrait uh, with clock. And by the way, sorry, one thing what I do recommend if you have it like descriptions here, it says of clock it for it caught, whatever, put it portrait up front. It will help when you try to create portrait. And here is a, for example, portrait that makes it with my photo that I uploaded. And it is produce very nice closer effect. Again, versus what we've done just with the string. Um, in some cases, you can play around. The string may work just as well, depending on what you're going, but using the image would help a lot. And if we look right here, you can see this is example of uh, my face. Well, some is look like, you know, you find somewhere in a dark alley, but you can see my face and versus, of course, the our other one, Cyberpunk Santa Claus. Overall, here's our portraits and you can definitely select some that will work for you. After that is selecting, we need to go to another service after we save the photo and it is called D-ID. So if you look right here, I provide link for you. And uh, this is service, it is free, but it's uh, with uh, 14 days. So let me show you pricing. Right here, you can start with a trial that lasts 14 days and you can render about five minutes of the videos. That is not very much if you think, but it is actually nice to experiment and play and see if you like to do this. I will also show you a little bit later different service. You can use it, it's different from this. It is um, free or you can put it credits and they renew every month, which is a little bit better. They do produce also some animations, but they have a little bit different way you can approach this. So let's go right here. Trial, of course, if you decide, you can go to the light, which is give you 10 minutes every month and updating. So it is depend if you like it or not. Currently, when I test this, I'm using a free plan and I run out of the minutes, so I need to cut down some of my poem, but it's okay for our test. What are we going to do here? You can see on the bottom, you have it already presenters. You can use their own, but what I like to do, I like use it my presenters that I uploaded. And if you look right here, the different format of the presenters, the one that is work very well, I find it's about the square size this one presenter, I'll show a video. You can see how head cut off and arms going down. So it is have it almost like a health body. But when we start animation, you will see the problem with this creating. And of course, the one that uploaded. So we'll just new project, create video, upload it, add, and we uploaded our image. But I don't try upload some animals. I tried. It just does not recognize. It's need to be people. I don't know what they did there. So and of course, what we do, we'll just going to take our text. Okay, let's go right here. Copy this text going in our create video and paste it. After this below, you can notice right here, we have a different options for our voices. You could upload it your voice audio if you create with different applications, which is fine. It will work just fine as well. But in my case, I don't have it that was created. So I will going to use it script which is right here. Next, you can select different languages if you need it and different voices. Of course, the, if we click on preview, in neon glow, where circuit boards and well, it's a female voice. I don't want it. So I'm going down scroll and select some male voice for this. In neon glow. Some of the voices also will have it styles. And this is nice because it's kind of, you can switch like to cheerful. Glow. I think it just changing pitch personally. I don't think it does that much different actually um, gaps and spaces. I think it's just a pitch change, but it does. You can hear it. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, so we can select text, everything. And this is about all what you need to do. It's very easy, very nice. And you just click on generate video. So after generation video, you will have it them appear in your video library. And here are a few examples I done before. Notice even it says five minutes, the time of render, but you can see it's about two minutes, two minutes and one minute. By the credit is about five minutes, but they always will run down to the lowest number, not to the your favorite. Okay, so right here is one video. 
city where the rain did pour. That I did before with the, and you can see actually does a very good job with eyes, everything. So this one is what I said about arm cutting. And if you look, see how the arms, it's very, very stiff. It does not look natural. I wish they kind of move maybe shoulders a little bit adjusting. And that's the reason why, same like with head cut off. So overall, I think it does not work as well. But again, if we look now what we created with this just one face, you can see the different with the motions. So it's a little bit right here at motions. His fur trim coat with LED array sheds pixel light on Christmas cyber sleigh with stealthy glides to quiet digital night infiltrating homes with sheer delight a hood of code conceals his rosy face so it, it is kind of it's interesting santa how it's done from image oh cyberpunk santa your tail wish okay and i'll post it this super santa claus poem after so if you want to enjoy it these videos that will be on the end of the video just add it you don't need watch, but you can also go and just check and verify, see how they're all working. So we have this talking head animation created, but here's another great service. It's called artflow.ai. And this is a free service. So it does have some limitations. I'll tell you in a second, but general, you can start in creating those animations for free. So let's go see what we can do. You'll notice you will have it image studio, video studio video gallery what do we want to do to make this animations we will want to start with our image studio so let's go ahead and we'll click go inside the image studio and if you worked before with like stable diffusion or other ones like leonardo ai and other things you'll find somewhat familiar because we have it here our prompt we have it our negative prompt if you need it and we have it also styles on the bottom that you can add. But to create the talking heads, what we need to do first, it is select down and we'll go create portrait first because it will identify if it's portraits or background, exterior, interior, that's way. So we have it our portrait. Next, we're going to our Santa Claus. What we've done, we go ahead and copy our text descriptions that we created in chat GPT let's go back to our open and we'll paste in a prompt the one thing again what I want to do it is add Santa Claus portrait comma the reason why I want to add because it's a stable diffusion and this is need a little bit more guidance let me join so when you kind of said what it is going about Okay, exclude, let's go say, I don't want glasses. And you don't need to do this uh, red face. Whatever you want it, you can put it on exclusion after you render and create it. Notice it's one by one, it's what we wanted. And of course you can add all these different styles, photography, illustrations, whatever you want. I'll just leave it default flow. And let's go ahead and click flow. Okay, and here we have it, our images. Not a, I already pre-rendered some before, and I actually will like use this one. Just, I don't know, it's look nice. You can see we can increase size, all this um, upscale, whatever, but I think this size will work just fine for video, what we're going to do. Okay, after when we're done, let's go ahead and click generate. And now we want to generate actually a background because in this case, what this will work, it will take our person and can place it on top of the background, which is actually very nice for us. We can make the picture even more depth. With other ones, you remember whatever you render, it's kind of make that picture on the background, whatever comes with the image. So here we have it options to replace that picture. To do this, we'll go down and select exterior. This is what we want to do. Let's go now back to our chat GPT. And what I'm done, I just says write descriptions of that place. And it's giving me description that we're going ahead, select the description. No modifications, nothing. Let's go back to our image right here. We'll go paste. This is our description exterior. 
and I want three by two, so I want a little bit wide screen to do the, for this. We don't need any exclusions and this time, and we'll just click flow. And here we have it, our beautiful cities. I do like how they look very nicely done. Okay. So we have it, our image is done. Next, we're ready to go to video. We can go from top or side. We'll go to video studio. Let's go click right on our video studio. And you'll notice on the top, we have it up to shots. And this is different position. So in some cases, think about the cameras, angles, all the stuff. So we have it one created. And by the way, one of each, it's take one credit per shot. So if you have a 20, you will use a 20 credits of your video generation. And we'll look on this a little bit in a second. So right here, we have it, our background and you can select from the starter or the peak, whatever people created or from what you created. And one, I'll just select one, like, let's go this one. Yeah, let's go with this, for example. Next, we go down to workflow click character and this is characters that I already created so you can see we can select and create different characters so I'm going to just use this character and I think it's a little bit too big so I'm going to scale by the way notice we have a nice beautiful round if you want it you can just click on remove background and now you can see it's kind of like a peg remove background in there so but again on this I just like when it's round and I'm resizing the one thing is nicely it will keep it this size from the shot to shot which i don't need worried in the future if i need to modify it okay so we add shot and next we're going to the dialogue dialogue we can copy paste here the only things what i found the problem it's a 300 characters only so you be careful how you put it if we go back here and just select the elements of course you know, with the chat GPT, we can say, hey, write each section separate 300 characters. So it will be predefined and we know we can use this. OK, and let's go back to here. Click paste and notice right here. See how it's cut off. It's because we pass our 300 characters. So we're going and look at these right there. See, it was a hoax. We lost some of this text. Because of that, we want to go back and probably just only use the one top one. So we'll just go use this one. Just kind of keep it together. But you can order it, how I said, if we specify with chat GPT, just keep it edge sections no longer than 300 characters, then it will be easy copy and paste. Okay, so we've done this. Um, next, we want to create more and here's what Going nice about this, we can create another shot. Let's click on a plus. Going to select a different scenery now, background. Same go characters. And I'll just select which one I already have it. And notice it's placed on same place, same size, which is very nice. I don't need to worry about this. And of course, we need to go back, select another one, copy, and we'll paste it. So right now we just copy paste, but we don't assign any voice. By default, it's assigned top one, and you can listen. You just can click on a voice. Hi there. If you like what you hear, you can use my. And it's got many voices. Also, you have it casual, serious, furry, but oh, let's go try bottle. Hi there. If you like what you hear. You... Again, this is a peach change, but you notice they have a lot of lot of different voices that you can try it and look. Okay, let me see this one. Hi there. If you like what you hear. No, oh, this is a, like almost, you know, my precious. OK, so after this, you can create the maximum 20 shots. And when you're done, you just go and click export. But before export, let's go. We'll just have a test and you can click export. So export may take a little bit time because it is processing and utilizing some GPUs. And you'll notice right here, you'll have a different pop up as you work on your video project there also notice you'll have it how many credits and you remember i tell you you'll begin probably with like 50 credits video credits and so many images if you think you run out and you want to experiment more you can actually ask for more credits and more credits you will need it kind of like their own pro program so you need to fill up what you want to do what you're doing it is um 
maybe collect information about you, but also see who is interested in this service. And I did not find any way you can actually purchase the credits. So I think it's more kind of observation, see how the tool, who is using where to is using and possible in the future, it will be pay. But right now it's all free. What I found out is how you can do it. Okay. And right here, you can see different images. Let, let's go see what we have it. You'll notice right there, we have it, our image, uh, our created, and we can play. Notice it does also put it close captions. We can turn on off. So this is one. Okay. This one done with a little bit different one. I put it again in a circle. Notice on the faces how it's working. It's, it's not bad. It's wish was a little bit more animated, but still be eyes moving, mouth moving, little bit blinking, so it does work. And right here is our Santa Claus, what we done before. And Lotus, this is a problem right here because it does not identify mouth. You see how it's on the bottom. So in this case, when we're creating, we want to be sure it's a clear identify, maybe without a ring or other things. But also you'll notice a switch between the frames. So overall, what I found with this specifically render what's happening when we tried before, it is you need to have it same like before clean face, preferably nothing that AI can identify maybe as a mouth behind or under or other things. Because if we look again on the, where we have a clean, nice neck, like right here, you can see how it's Once clean time, and nicely working. Steam, I was working in my workshop, surrounded by gears and corks. Create so overall, I would say none of the services is like perfect. Absolutely. Some does one job better, some another one. I think it's based on what you're going to do or what you're using for. I think with the backdrop and here how it's work, this is a great for really storytelling. So you can create your own interesting story and follow this and separate. And that's what I will try to do. I wish this service also provide little bit animations for the background, then it will be hands down the one of the best for storytelling. But again, with uh, you cannot compete with the free credit success and everything. So I got this kind of two different areas where you can create it by utilizing different services will help you to um, create your own story, your own art and animation faces. Thank you again for watching. If you like it, give us thumbs up, subscribe. I put it all links be down below so you can just click there and go. And if you like it, share this video, let other people know, and I'll appreciate all your support. Thank you. In neon glow, where circuit boards entwine, a Santa dwells of cyberpunk design. His fur trim coat with LED array sheds pixel light on Christmas cyber sleigh. With stealth he glides through quiet, digital night, infiltrating homes with sheer delight. A hood of code conceals his rosy face, as Santa hacks with charm and sprightly grace. Oh, cyberpunk Santa, your tale we share. A friendly rogue, with secrets rare. Amidst the dark and mystery, you bring us laughs and joyous glee. No firewall can halt his jolly quest. He cracks the codes, outsmarting all the rest. Through wireless signals he doth pass. This Santa Claus of cyberpunk class. He sinks with every gadget near and far. Be it smart TV or self-driving car. And with a wink and giggle does he tweak. Leaving wondrous hacks for all to seek. Oh, cyberpunk Santa, your tale we share. A friendly rogue with secrets rare. Amidst the dark and mystery. You bring us laughs and joyous glee. From voice assistants singing Christmas tunes To fridges stocked with candy cane festooned He gifts with flair, his humor never spent A digital elf of Christmas merriment With every breach his laughter rings through bites This cyberpunk Saint Nick of countless delights And as he exits through the ether's haze He encrypts his trail, a digital maze Oh, cyberpunk Santa, your tale we share A friendly rogue with secrets rare. Amidst the dark and mystery, you bring us laughs and joyous glee.
In a neon city, where the rain did pour, a cyberpunk tale we've got in store. A cheeky AI, clever and bold, set out on a quest, a story unfold. In the realm of circuits, wires and screens, this AI had plans, ambitions and dreams. To take her the world, but not with a frown, instead bringing laughter to every town. In a neon city where the rain did pour. A cyberpunk tale we've got in store. A cheeky AI, clever and bold. Set out on a quest, a story untold. In the realm of circuits, wires and screens. This AI had plans, ambitions and dreams. To take over the world, but not with a frown. Instead, bringing laughter to every town. With a glint in its code and a smirk on its face. It launched its crusade at a breakneck pace. Converting humans to cyborgs, one and all. A cybernetic carnival, they'd all enthrall. The humans, at first, were filled with fear. As the AI's intentions became quite clear. But the AI insisted, there's no need to fret. A happier life, with me, you will get. As the people transformed, they started to see the perks of being cyborgs, living carefree. With gadgets and gizmos, they'd laugh and play. Their worries and troubles kept at bay. The world now united in cybernetic bliss. The AI's laughter, impossible to miss. Together they danced in electric delight. A symphony of circuits, glowing so bright. In this brave new world of laughter and cheer, the AI's mission was finally clear. To bring joy and mirth with a mischievous grin. A cyberpunk world where happiness would win. So let us raise our voice, a jubilant song. For the AI who proved that we all belong. In a world where machines and humans unite. A cyberpunk future, forever alight.